Hey, what's up? This is Jay Lately, out here with UndergroundHipHopBlog.com. I'm coming out of Sebastopol, California. Um, I got a new album out called Be Fucking Happy. You should go check that shit out. My definition of underground hip hop um, is, I think, music that's made from the perspective of the listener. It's music that's made from the common person's perspective. Um, and when artists produce music that, that where they're coming from the same place as the people they're talking to um, and, and remembering that. So not, not coming from at like I'm doing something you're not able to do or I'm, I'm so different than you, but instead coming at it from the perspective of I'm just like you when we go through the same types of things. I think the term underground hip hop or underground rapper definitely fits me. Although I think, you know, it's weird. There's so many different connotations with words nowadays and the hip hop genre is just so broad in general. Um, but I don't see anything wrong with the term underground rapper. I think underground rapper means somebody who works hard, somebody who does things for themselves, and someone who relates to their fans, um, which is three things I'm proud to do. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll take any type of titles, man. Like conscious rapper, there's a lot of people that think that's a, that's a bad title to have. I'd much rather be a conscious rapper than not a conscious rapper. You know, I'm, you know, I'm cool with underground. I'm cool with all that. Like, I think, uh, it's more about yourself than the, than the title that's placed on you, you know? So Sebastopol, California, it's a small little town about an hour north of the Bay Area. Um, probably at this point somewhere around like 20,000 people or something, like super small little hippie town. And uh, yeah, man, I grew up there since from five to after I graduated from high school. And uh, it's just a real cool town, a type of town where, yeah, like you said, most people don't ever hear that place. And so as being a, uh, you know, a kid who grew up there, I got to make sure that people know that that's where I'm from. And that's really, you know, what developed me into who I am today. We got my man Tracy is out of Sebastopol. Shout out Tracy. We used to play basketball together and whatnot. He's the dude that took me on my first tour. Um, and then also probably the most well-known artist is a dude named Smoothie, who used to rock with like Mac Dre and Nicotina and those dudes. So my newest album is called Be Fucking Happy. The album's produced uh, more than half by my dude Space Cadet. Uh, as well as a few other folks who produce the other cuts on there. Um, features people like Demrick, Rex Life Raj, my bro Beegis, Space Cadet himself, um, and a few others. And it's really just like this journey to find happiness in myself. It's this idea that I know how good my life is. You know, we wake up every day and there's problems and whatnot, but at the end of the day, my life is amazing. And I need a reminder sometimes, though, that it's so amazing. And I need to remind myself that so I can really... Uh, like be conscious of it. Otherwise I sit there thinking about the things that are the downsides of life, you know? Um, so that's really what the album was about is this process of kind of conditioning myself to, to appreciate all the goodness around me. Yeah, I think, uh, um, I think a lot of artists think that when they become musicians, they're not going to have to work as much. Like it's like a way around the nine to five. But what I think about is if you're gonna do a career of passion. It's not just going to be a nine to five. It's like, a, it's going to be a 24 hour a day type of thing. Um, but you know, that's why I chose music is, is because I wake up every morning having to go to work and I don't feel like it's work each time. I feel like it's something fun. I feel energized. Like I used to wake up at 8.30 in the morning after nine hours of sleep and have to go to my job and I'd feel tired. Whereas now I wake up off three hours of sleep and I just feel super juiced and ready to go. Um, so I think it's about finding something you really love doing where it doesn't feel like work. You know, it's something that I wake up in the morning thinking about this. Um, if I do have to go, you know, get money some other type of way during my day, I'll go do my job. But then at the end of the day, I come home and I'm right back to music. And it's it's uh, the minute I get back in, in my house, I'm going inside the studio and I'm in that studio until uh, it's time to go to bed, whether it's making music or booking shows or putting together, uh, you know, promo plans or whatever it is. Um, I think it's gotta be something you're like 100% uh, committed to at all times. Man, tour life as an independent artist, do-it-yourself artist is uh, it's not the tour life that gets sold to you on the television, you know what I mean? Um, but it's beautiful, it's amazing. Uh, there's a reason I stay on tour so much is because my favorite thing is to connect with fans each night um, in person. Like it's a whole different process when it gets to be in person as opposed to over the internet. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful and, and, and doing it yourself and doing it from an independent perspective is awesome because I actually get to connect with these people at the shows. I kick it all night with these people I, and, and get to meet all my fans um, and really gain that connection with them. 
So it's awesome, man. I see all types of different places I never thought I'd get to see. I meet all types of different people I never thought I'd get to see. I feel like I have a whole different understanding of like the United States now than I used to as being a kid from the Bay Area and just kind of thinking that's what it's like everywhere. My mind's been opened a ton by being on the road and just the different experiences. So yeah, I think it's amazing, man. Like it's hard work. As you could tell, like my voice is messed up. We, you know, we work hard every night. It's little sleep. It's a lot of driving and stuff like that. But man, to me, it just feels like I'm on a road trip with my friends doing what I love the whole time. Like it's awesome. So you can check out all my music on my website, justlatelymusic.com. You can follow me on Instagram at JLately, Twitter at JustLately, Facebook at JustLately. Just Google it, J period lately, all one word. And uh, yeah, I'm out there. The album's out there on SoundCloud. It's out there on Spotify, out there on Pandora, everything. Just search Be Fucking Happy, Jay Lately. It's there. Go listen to it. It's good shit. It'll put a smile on your face if you need one. And yeah, do that.